Okay, let's talk cycle five, me drinking. Let's go. Right now, I'm perceived there's a water spill on the counter that I'm sitting on. So they line up the glass next to the water spill that had nothing to do with me. If you can see even further that there's dishes and everything from the other girls, you see the editing, the close-ups. No one's looking at the good things I've done or the nice things I've done. No one's cutting me any slack. I feel betrayed by all of them. I've been hurt. I don't know who to trust. I love cousin it. Okay, so with the whole Cousin It thing, I was outside, obviously, to get away from the girls and also production because both weren't serving me. Both were hurting me tremendously. And so I'm realizing in this moment that this isn't just a modeling competition. It's mental torture. And um, I was sitting outside and I was actually like crying to myself. And I was, my grandpa had passed a couple years prior and I was saying grandpa could like can you please give me a sign like what do i do here and when i was crying i could hear the bushes and like footsteps behind me and that's when i could tell the production was coming behind me to like film me and so to cover up and to kind of like gain my composure i was like oh i love cousin it look at you you and me you know and it was just like a cover-up and of course they put that on tv um yeah and obviously i'm fucking ripped i'll say that again i was drunk um, usually when somebody is struggling, um, immensely with trauma, you know what you do most of the time, you try to numb yourself and I'm a problem solver. I feel like me and cousin Nate are almost the same. What's the secret? No, it's gold, man. You don't have to tell me. Getting drunk was an accident. Totally did not drink to get drunk. Who's just sleeping outside? Well, that's because she's drunk. That girl got a lot of issues. Well, she took me five down. And another thing. Um, we were in the house by that point, maybe a week and a half. So now you guys are such a professional that uh, of knowing that I'm an alcoholic. Um, did you ever realize that maybe this situation is up? And I mean, it just floors me that these girls... We're obviously looking for something to pin me. And I got drunk. Um, you know, because I was doing really well in the competition so far. So it's like, oh yeah, let's make her let's make her the alcoholic because they can get me having a glass of wine at night. And it wasn't even every night. In fact, after like um that after that, we still had a month and a half of filming where I also did not drink. So that's why this is so annoying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Her drinking is becoming a lot heavier, and she's becoming a lot more dependent on it. She needs something, a crutch to hold her up from everything that we're going through every day. It's just hard to keep it together. It's just hard to keep it together. Okay, and now this part. Ugh. It's okay, honey. A lot of times I think I'm just too sensitive for stuff like this. Lisa is very confident. I'll always love you, Brie. Thank you for caring for me. Confident. But as much confidence as she has, she's just taking in every punch, every ball that's thrown her way, all the arguments, all the criticizing. She's eating it, and it's eating away at her now. What's wrong? I know for a fact, none of us have ever been under so much stress and anxiety as we are here. Facts. It's just exploding. Hey, listen, hold your breath for like 10 seconds. Really, just take a deep breath and hold it. Okay, so right here, I am hyperventilating. Um, specifically because I wanted so desperately to tell my boyfriend that they were using my childhood trauma against me every day in my interviews. You know, things like, your mom would tell you to commit suicide a lot. Why, why do you think she did that? Um, and are those the things that you think about during this competition? You know, just really horrible things in these interviews, guys. Horrible. Um, I don't even want to say the other stuff. Ugh. So hard to watch. It's so cringeworthy. But, um, I was just having, um, I was hyperventilating because you can't talk about production. You weren't allowed to, um, 
If you do, you can get sued for millions of dollars. So I'm hyperventilating because I know that I'm not allowed to talk about production um, or talk about the girls because I can get sued for millions of dollars. And so obviously like it's just gaslit after gaslit after gaslit, you know, um, me not even being able to communicate what is happening to me. Um, using my childhood trauma against me too, which is just creating more trauma. And then the trauma of not being able to communicate it. That's what you're looking at. Really, come on, you're breathing all crazy. Just take a deep breath and hold it. Nobody really knows how to help her though. Nobody. <sighs> Lisa, you need to focus. Come on now, pull it together. Dun, dun, commercial break, right? Um, it just looks like to the viewer that I'm just having a drunken freak out um, and I'm a bitch and I can't take it. No. What's wrong? Nothing. Pretty bummed because Janice is harassing you. Well, Janice is a little up and down. Don't worry about it. We're going to light her oh. through this glass oh. and we're going to keep this oh. dimension. So she's working and she's beautiful. I'm so excited that they're giving Lisa a um, facelift because she looks too old. Yeah. You know, she's going to need one. I'm like six Whatever, months. she's a year and a half older than me. When I'm, when I'm a year and a half older than this, I'm not going to look that old. Let's see what Kim's up to. Hi, Kim. Be careful with those drinks. You know what people say. Work it, girl. Natural part of me like that. Drunk. <laughs> Alcoholic. Any I'm listening to them make all those comments while I'm shooting. When just before that, production had told Janice Dickinson to have, like, to start this whole fight with me. Like, it was nonstop. Nonstop. Any remarks from the sidelines is nothing but jealous. This girl's a star. Nice, nice. I want a fresh, that's good, smile. I was determined I wasn't going to let that moment continue on. I was going to change it. And the only way I could change it is if I rocked the house. Ugh, it is so cringeworthy to watch all of this. Um, and I'm not pissed at Kim or anything. Like, fuck it. We were young, right? We're all blindsided by a bunch of things. Um, but moving on. not trying to impress me. What about vices? Are you guys dealing with any, like, vices? Or anything. Sleep. What does sleep do for you? Restores you mentally just to get prepared for that next photo shoot, for that next criticism. Brie couldn't be more right about this. Sleep is so incredibly important. And she was also right when she said that that girl has a lot of issues when she said that on a previous um, episode about me. I was dealing with a sleeping disorder even in that house where I rocked myself to sleep. Super embarrassing. I didn't want it to be caught on camera. And um, I knew if I had a glass of wine and obviously through all the stress and mental torture that they were putting me through, no wonder if I was using alcohol to kind of calm myself down, then that's what it is. But that being said, like way before Top Model, there was never any concerns if I had any drinking problems. Um, and like I had said before, like when I continued on on this, on this season, I wasn't drinking. So... To me, this was just the beginning, and I totally sobered up and realized that they're going to use that against me. Try to keep in mind, too, that I had never seen the show, and I was so cool with all the cameramen and everything, so I thought that there was no way that they would slander my character because I'm a good person. And I'm really nice to everybody. And like, even with the girls, like I made breakfast for them in the morning. I would help them with their clothes. I would tell them how beautiful they looked every day. So for them to just show me criticizing them during challenges and stuff, like, it's just bullshit. Because I was even poking fun of the competition all the time with my satire and sarcasm. And, um, just knowing that, that everyone's going to um, poke and prod at um, our physical appearance. So, you know, I'd be like, yeah, they're going to poke at your teeth and say that those are too forward. They're going to say that your eyes are too deep, you know? Like, I knew it. I had been modeling for 10 years. The girls knew that. Who smokes? <laughs> it's not illegal. 98% of models smoke or have smoked. And it is something that they do to keep their weight off. And my grandmom died of lung cancer at 50. But, you know, if you want to just get superficial and talk about modeling, this career will be cut in half because of smoking. 
And it's, it's not too easy to quit because my addiction is food and fattening food. So if somebody's like, a model's life will be cut in half, Tyra, by eating. And I ain't gonna put down a Twinkie. You know what I mean? <laughs> not that easily. Any other vices? I drink wine. You a wino? Yeah. <laughs> you are? <laughs> I just thought you were gonna say no. No, yeah, I'm a wino. Yeah. Nope, not a liar. Do you have to drink every day? Um, no, I don't have to. When I have a glass of wine, it, it's just like, I don't know, the feeling that it does for me is, is really nice. It's relaxing. Do you drink to get drunk? Mm -mm. Lisa said no, that she doesn't. And that kind of made me mad, the fact that she was lying to Tyra right to her face. I'm when I watched this, I was like, ugh, shut the f*** up, Kyle. I'm not lying because I don't. Uh, I'm literally in Hunger Games and trying to survive. I'll uh, be ready at 8 o'clock a.m. Tyra. I've been through this emotional roller coaster, but this competition means a lot to me. I'm throwing in all my chips, and hopefully it will work out in the end. So at this point in the interviews where I'm like, you know, I'm throwing in all my chips, I f***ing knew that this f***ing show plays dirty as f and I'm gonna use the f out of them and do whatever the f I want. You feel strong? You don't hold anything back. You're braver, gutsier, and you're more secure. When you're confident and strong, you may reveal something about yourself that you ordinarily wouldn't. What's my secret? I tell myself I'm beautiful every single day. It's relatable. That little bit of vulnerability is great. The ah! Lisa's shit went really well, which everyone really wasn't expecting. We thought that, you know, Lisa was going to be a little off her game. I do feel positive about the commercial. I definitely nailed it perfectly, and I'm proud of myself for that. I woke up that next day and I was like, oh, the wrong. We go straight into an interview where we are the spokesperson for Secret Platinum. What's happening, Lisa? They got a really hot guy to interview us. Oh, like that's going to distract me. Let's do this. I don't know about you, but like I'm Italian and we're just known to be sweaty people. Okay. Seriously, Secret Platinum, lies. it works. All it seriously lies. works. See? It's, it's good under there. Nice, right? Now, just notice, I'm drinking water here, everybody, at night. There's no wine. If they, if I was such a fucking drunk, then why don't they have so much footage of me being super fucking drunk? You saw it all. She's pissed at me because I said that. It's I so don't know. Ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. You don't hold anything back. You're braver, gutsier, and you're more secure. When you're confident and strong, you may reveal something about yourself that you ordinarily wouldn't. What's my secret? I tell myself I'm beautiful every single day. I'm doing this. You brought tears to my eyes. I thought it was beautiful. I think that's the best we've seen. Who's most likely to stab me in the back? Aren't we supposed to be talking about deodorant right now? I are we? <laughs> There's like this deodorant that I just started using and it's amazing. This actually works. Maybe you can use it too. That was brilliant. <laughs> you really got him. And more importantly, even though it was almost irritating that you refused to answer his question, you look so gorgeous. I love the picture. I would think the client would love that photograph. I think you're bringing your personality, not just to this photograph, but to the interview, to the actual TV commercial. 10 out of 10. Good. You know, I haven't watched this show. Even when it came out, like, I couldn't even watch it because it was just so hurtful. Um, but now watching it, like, it seems like Tyra really likes me so far. It makes me wonder if she knew, but she had to have, right? Couldn't 